Hello, and welcome to Body of Wisdom Yoga. I'm Michael. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on our core. Our cores are important for helping to support our lower back and keeping our lower backs healthy and happy. We'll be doing not only core exercises, but also some counterposing twisting. Twisting starts to stretch those muscles, again, alleviating tension in the lower back and our sacrum areas. So we'll begin today by coming into child's pose. So coming onto the hands and the knees to start, bringing the big toes together, separate your knees out to the sides, and slowly sit back to the heels, resting your forehead on the floor or on a block. Take a relaxed child's pose to start. So let your elbows rest down, taking a few big breaths through the nose, breathing into the back body, feeling a gentle expansion on the inhale of the side body and the lungs, and a lengthening of the spine, allowing the hips to drop to the heels on your exhale. And lifting your forehead away from the floor, crawl your hands all the way off the right edge of the mat and extend your left fingertips as far to the right as you can. And just breathe into the left side body, inflating your left lung, feeling the space between the ribs start to open. And slowly coming back through center, crawl your hands off the left edge of the mat and extend your right fingertips as far to the left as you can. Again, breathing into the right side body, inflating the right lung, and opening up the space between the right ribs. And slowly coming back through center, come up on all fours for cat cow. So stacking the knees under the hips and the wrists under the shoulders. On your inhale, lift your chest, lift your sit bones, look forward. We're gonna hold this for a few breaths. So keep the shoulders over the wrist, but press the chest a little further forward. Maybe try lifting the hips a little higher, feeling a deeper stretch across the front body. And keeping the arms straight, we'll slowly transition to our cat pose. So begin to round the back, bringing your chin onto your chest, pull the belly to the spine and press your upper back to the ceiling. Maybe feeling the shoulder blades move away from each other. Take a few big breaths here. Good, and we'll just move between these two poses with the breath. On your inhale, transition back to your cow pose, lifting your chest and your sit bones, looking forward, keeping the forehead relaxed. And exhale, start to round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the sit bones, and exhale, round the back, chin to chest, belly to spine. We'll just return to a neutral tabletop position and sitting back to the heels or maybe placing a block between the feet and sitting on the block. Inhale, reach the arms alongside your ears. Bringing your right hand to the outside of the right hip, crawl your right hand to the right. And start off on the right fingertips as you reach the left fingertips a little higher and then gently start to bend over to the right, eventually placing that right palm flat on the floor or on a block, and gently pressing the right palm into the floor or the block to deepen the stretch across the left side body. Inhale, slowly come back to center, extend all 10 fingertips up with your left hand to the outside of the left hip, crawl your left fingertips a little further to the left, and reaching the right fingertips a little higher Gently bend over to the left, eventually placing that left palm flat on the floor on a block. And inhale, slowly come back up to center as you release all 10 fingertips on either side of the hips. Letting the chin drop to the chest, roll your right ear towards your right shoulder and let your head fall back. Rolling your left ear to the left shoulder, let your chin come forward and just do a few big circles with the head and the neck, opening up those muscles, slow, deliberate movements. And the next time you come back to the front, maybe reverse the direction for a few rotations. And bringing your head back to an upright neutral position, 
walk your hands behind you about a foot, fingertips facing forward or out to the sides. You can place blocks underneath the hands to modify. Gently draw the shoulder blades together as you lift your chest to the ceiling and bring your chin onto your chest for baby camel. And you're welcome to stay here or if you wanna go a little deeper into the back bend, press the hands and the tops of the feet down to maybe lift the hips away from the block or the heels. And to go even further, maybe let your head fall back, breathing into your upper chest. Big inhales. Slowly lower the hips down. Inhale, bring the spine to an upright neutral position. And if you're sitting on a block, you can move the block off to the side. We'll let the hips fall to one side and swing the legs out in front of us. Coming into a cross-legged position, crossing the ankles, place the hands on the fronts of the knees. And we're going to start to lean back, drawing the knees towards one another, letting the arms straighten, bring your chin onto your chest, feeling a little bit of stretch across the upper back. And on an inhale, use your hands to start to pull your chest forward as you let the knees drop to the floor, getting a little bit more upright with the spine. And we'll just move between these two with the breath. So on your exhale, draw the knees together, straighten the arms any amount, reach the upper back towards the wall behind you as you bring your chin onto your chest. And this time on the inhale, see if you can activate the core muscles to start to press your chest forward as you draw the knees apart, letting them fall towards the floor, coming more upright with the spine, trying to shift the weight towards the front of the sitting bones. And we'll move between these two. So exhale, lean back. And inhale, activate the core to press the chest forward as you let the knees drop to the floor. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. And inhale up. Last time, exhale back. And inhale up. And this time we're just gonna cross the legs a little further. You're welcome to sit up on a block or elevate the hips if that feels a little bit more comfortable on the hips and the lower back. And we'll just do a gentle twist to the right. So placing your right hand behind you and your left hand on the right knee. We're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine, extending the crown of the head to the ceiling. Gently draw the belly to the spine, activating your core to protect the lower back muscles. And then start to turn the left side of your chest to the right, either looking in the direction of your chest or keeping the chin level to floor, softly gazing out over the right shoulder. With each inhale, feel your spine getting longer, extending the crown of the head up. With each exhale, maybe twist a little deeper. And coming back to center, we'll switch the twist. So place your left hand behind you, right hand on the left knee. Again, before you go into the twist, lengthen the spine, trying to remove any Roundness in the lower back. And keeping that extension, start to turn the right side of your chest to the left, looking in the direction of your chest, or keeping the chin level with the floor, softly gazing out over the left shoulder. Good, then slowly come back to center. Draw the knees towards one another. And we'll just place the feet about hips distance apart. If you're sitting on a block, remove the block. I'm going to reach the fingertips forward. Have the arms level with the floor, palms facing one another. Find this connection to the core. So gently draw the belly to the spine. And as we did before, start to round the upper back as you lean your upper back, back towards the wall behind you, bringing your chin onto your chest. Hold it for a few breaths, feeling those muscles through your core engage. And we're gonna keep this engagement as we slowly lower all the way onto our backs, one vertebra at a time. So coming onto your backs with the knees bent and the feet flat. Once on your back, interlace the fingers behind your head. Lifting the feet away from the floor, keep the knees bent. Shins should be level with the floor. Activating your core muscles, inhale, lift your head and your upper back away from the floor. Straighten your left leg at about a 45 degree angle and try and tap the outside of that right knee, the left elbow. Hold it. Good. And then we'll switch. So bending both knees to start. Straighten your right leg at about a 45 degree angle and try tapping the outside of that left knee with the right elbow and pause. 
and then we'll switch the legs. So we're gonna bend the right knee and straighten the left leg, and switch, and switch, and switch. From here, bending both knees, place your feet flat, release your head down, release your hands down by your hips. Keeping the left knee bent and the left foot flat, slowly start to draw the right knee towards your chest. Good. And then interlacing the fingers around the back of the right thigh. Try straightening your right leg so the right leg is perpendicular to the floor. Pressing out through that right heel, pull the right toes towards your head. And imagine you're pushing that right leg through the hands to activate that right thigh. You're welcome to stay here holding the posture here. If you want to challenge yourself with extra core work, keep the legs straight and strong. Reach the fingertips towards the right toes, maybe lifting your head and your upper back away from the floor as if you're going to touch the toes. Hold it for a few breaths. And then lower the shoulders and the head down. Bending your right knee, place your right foot flat. Release the hands down by your hips, palms facing down. And we'll try the second side. So we're gonna gently draw the left knee towards your chest. And then starting to straighten the left leg, interlace the fingers around the back of that left thigh, placing them in the belly of the hamstring. Pressing out through that left heel, pull the left toes towards your head, and try and push that back of that left thigh into your hands a little bit more firmly to activate your left thigh. Keep the leg strong, staying here. Or if you tried it on the first side, Start to reach the fingertips towards the foot, maybe lifting the head and the upper back away from the floor. Good, then lower the head and the shoulders down. Bending the left knee, place the left foot flat. Release the hands down by your hips with your palms facing down. And again, drawing the right knee towards the chest. You can keep the left knee bent or this time straighten the left leg, releasing the back of the left leg onto the floor. With your hands down by your hips, palms facing down, try and straighten that right leg. Make the right leg strong, gently squeezing the right knee cap towards your waist, and lower the right leg down so that right heel is hovering about an inch above the floor. Hold, keep breathing. On your inhale, start to lift the right leg back up, eventually bringing it it's more perpendicular to the floor. And again, exhale, lower that right leg, allowing the right heel to hover about an inch or two above the floor, and inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and bending your right knee, place your right foot flat on the floor. Bend the left knee and place the left foot flat on the floor if the left leg is straight. So we're going to gently draw the left knee towards your chest. Either keep the right knee bent and the right foot flat, or to challenge yourself with extra core work, extend the right leg straight and release the back of that right leg onto the mat. Releasing your hands down by your hips, straighten your left leg. Press out through that left heel, pull the left toes towards your head, activating your left thigh. Keep a connection to your core as you slowly lower the left leg down so the left heel is hovering about an inch or two above the floor. Hold, continue to breathe deeply. On an inhale, lift the left leg back up and exhale, lower the left leg so the left heel hovers. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, and inhale, lift. Bending your left knee, place your left foot flat. Bend the right knee and place the right foot flat if the right leg is straight. Keeping the hands down by the hips. To counter pose our core work, we'll just try bridge pose. The tendency in bridge pose is for the weight to try and go on the outer feet. To compensate, ensure that you're pressing down evenly through all four corners of the feet, Ground the ball mounts of the feet into the mat. On an inhale, start to lift the hips away from the floor. If you have a block, you're welcome to use a block underneath the sacrum, placing it in the lower back and resting the sacrum on the block. Big breaths, ensuring that the toes and the knees are pointing straight ahead and the knees are reaching right out over the feet. 
if you're working with a block, lift the hips away from the block and sliding the block out from underneath your sacrum, lower your hips onto the floor and take a few breaths to your nose. And we'll try one more like that. Again, shifting the weight towards the inner feet to try and create equal weight distribution. Lift the hips away from the floor, maybe using a block. Your hands can stay on the floor or to go deeper. You can try the robot arms, bending the elbows at a 90 degree angle, pressing the elbows firmly into the floor to maybe lift the hips a little higher. Or if you're a little bit more open in the spine, rock from side to side, eventually interlacing the fingers and pushing tops of the arms into the mat to lift the hips higher. Slowly lower onto the floor, rest on your back. With your arms out to the sides at shoulder height, toe heel your feet to the outer edges of the mat. And just to release our back bends and our core work, we'll do a little bit more twisting. Let the knees drop to the right. Relax through your midsection. If you want to take your, stre your stretch deeper, place that outer right ankle on the outer left knee and use the weight of that right leg to move the left knee a little closer to the floor. And then if you want to add in a side stretch on an inhale, extend the left arm alongside your left ear and reach the left fingertips towards the wall behind you. With both arms out to the sides of shoulder height, carefully lift the knees away from the floor, uncross the legs, place both feet flat. With the feet touching the outer edges of the mat, let the knees drop to the left. Relax through your midsection. Continue to stay here in the supine twist or to take it deeper, place your outer left ankle on the outer right knee, using the weight of that left leg to move the right knee a little closer to the floor, deepening the twist. If you tried it on the first side, extend the right arm alongside your right ear, reaching the right fingertips towards the wall behind you. And with both arms out to the sides of shoulder height, carefully lift the knees away from the floor, uncross the legs, place both feet flat. Gently draw the knees up and into your chest, squeeze your knees in, give yourself a big hug, rock a little from side to side, loosening up the lower back muscles. And we'll take the stretch a little deeper. Splitting the legs, reach your arms inside your knees and grab a hold of the outer shins or the outer feet for happy baby. So flexing the feet, press your lower back into the floor. Gently press your feet up as you pull the knees down towards the floor with equal energy. And if it sounds interesting, you can rock a little from side to side, massaging the lower back muscles. Good, and releasing your feet onto the floor. Toe heel the inner feet together so they're touching. Reaching your arms out to the sides, let the knees drop out to the sides, feeling a stretch through the inner thighs and the inner hips. If this is uncomfortable on the inner thighs, you can make fists with your hands and place the hands under the tops of the thighs for support, or use another prop, the blanket or blocks underneath the tops of the thighs. Relax deeply. Placing your left hand in your heart and your right hand in your lower belly. With the eyes closed or soft. Take a few big breaths to your nose and we'll activate this diaphragmatic breathing. So on your inhale, feel the belly press to the ceiling. On the exhale, gently pull the belly to the spine. And again, breathing through the nose. Inhale deeply as the belly presses to the ceiling. Exhale, gently pull the belly to the spine. A few more times like this. Inhale, press the belly out. And exhale, gently pull the belly back. And last time. Inhale. And exhale. And let the breath return to its regular rhythm. And we'll transition towards our final meditation. Your hands can stay on your body if you'd like. Otherwise, if you'd rather move towards a more traditional corpse pose, you can bring your arms out to the sides with the palms facing up. Maybe straightening your legs. 
having your feet a little wider than your hips, let your feet fall out to the sides. And before you go deep into your meditation, take a few more big breaths to your nose, relaxing a little bit more fully on the exhale, ensuring the fingers are soft and the muscles in your face are relaxed. And on your next exhale, just release any residual physical, maybe even mental or emotional tension you might be experiencing in your body. And let your body completely melt into the floor, resting for the next few minutes, allowing the body to integrate the benefits of the practice. coming back. Take a few big breaths to your nose. Begin to move the fingertips and the toes, bringing movement back into the body, alerting the nervous system you're about to move. Maybe running your thumbs along your fingertips, rolling your wrists and your ankles. And on an inhale, reach your arms up overhead and stretch out from your fingertips to your toes. One by one, gently draw the knees up and into your chest, squeeze your knees in, rock a little from side to side. And reaching your right arm out to the right, slowly roll to the right, eventually using both hands to press yourself up to a comfortable seated position at the top of the mat. And bring the hands onto the knees, getting tall in the spine, with the eyes closed or soft. Come back to this connection that we've cultivated by virtue of our breath work and our postures. And consider keeping this state of connection for the rest of your day. 
Namaste.